morning guys it's uh wednesday morning september 14th here at the uh motel christie and it's like 59 degrees chilly morning and it's been raining it looks like uh, the rain is uh is letting up and there is a forecast for rain really the most of the day it's supposed to let up to the next like few hours i think 15 percent but then it gets back up to uh, here in the afternoon i think like maybe 60 percent again so it's probably gonna be a wet day but that's all right um and again i'm i'm heading for for warmer weather too um up here it's supposed to be pretty chilly these next day or two i think like in the uh, uh again like in the upper 50s and then at night like uh upper 30s and like 41 for the low something like that next morning or two so that's gonna be it's gonna be some chilly uh nights but again uh where i'm heading uh today i'll probably uh, we'll probably only make it down into uh pennsylvania you know a couple hundred miles and then next day have uh you know a couple hundred more miles plus to make it uh, to the shenandoahs god willing but yeah i'm just kind of sitting out here chilling it's a nice morning. It's uh, about a quarter till 10 now. And uh, just finished my first cup of coffee here a few minutes ago from the uh, gas station across the road. So that's convenient. A good cup of coffee. And um, so, yeah, just hanging out, YouTubing, Facebooking, all the usual, all that good stuff. But uh, blessed to be here, man. It's uh, probably, I guess, really, you know, God willing, be home in the next you know, week. Maybe next Tuesday, next Wednesday. So that's kind of, kind of hard to believe. Actually, it's not kind of hard. It's it's very hard to believe, but definitely something I an anticipate. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna shut it down. I just wanted to say hey and good morning all. Let me go and show the, uh, the motel here uh, in the morning. Since I uh, had it, you know footage in the dark last night couldn't see much but let me turn this around again my new uh, hat I, I tell you clearly I, I like hats and t-shirts I'm I'm a simple man and there's uh, but hats and t-shirts are are my thing it's that's something I, I think I've probably got more hats than anybody else I've ever known but they're they're a fun way to uh, commemorate things uh, I I can tell you where you know I got different hats and and uh, it's just, uh, yeah, again, it's just a fun way to remember things. I'll, I'll buy hats with birthday money and Christmas money, and then I'll relate them to the, uh, you know, the people that gave me the uh, the gift, and I always think of it as being from them. Um, so, anyhow, let me turn this around, like I said. So, clearly old Zeke there, my faithful hoss. The uh, canoe... Um, on top of the Mazda there belongs to a uh, young man named uh, Max. I talked to him uh, yesterday afternoon. He's got a couple kids and uh, he's uh, just now had bought the uh, canoe, it sounded like fairly recently, and it's something he plans to, to do for many years to come. And his kids are young now. He's got like a baby and then like a three-year-old, I think. But he's anticipating, uh, you know, getting them out on the water and just making memories of, with them as he did a, as a kid himself. Uh, with his family it sounds like so i think that's just just very cool and he was a really nice uh really nice guy it was great to meet him but uh that let me turn this around actually you know what i'll even get up and walk out here a little bit oh sorry Yeah, there's water in the pool, but I don't I don't think I'll be swimming this morning. Big old Honda down there from another rider. It's my room. Walk down here. Again, this is Old Forge, um, New York. And we're kind of on the uh, western side of the Adirondacks now. Oh, excuse me. That's the way we'll be heading. I think it's, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, yeah, we're still on 28. Pretty sure. 
me show you all this here real quick. I just think it's one of the, you know, I've seen so many wood carvings since I've been on this trip, but uh, check this out. Well, you know what? That's not a carving. They've got him attached. This uh, big old pileated woodpecker. And a, uh, a bee's hive is what that is with like a big, I was going to say a bee, I mean you would think it would be a bee, but it looks more like a butterfly slash bee, kind of a cross between. And two, the, uh, there's old bear laying, black bear laying on top of the, uh, the branch there. And you know, again, I thought he was a wood carving, but uh, apparently not now that I'm up close on it. Um, looks like uh, I get attached as well, but still pretty cool effect it's pretty neat all right guys I'm gonna shut it down and God willing we're gonna rike on here in uh, next hour or so